Ross, you in here? Reverend, where are you? Come on. What's the hold up? Play your damn hand. Good evening, mister. Play it. Mr. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your God has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem... Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down, then. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both, we're being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> He committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. Life is a challenge to all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been worse. Hmm. Better than nothing. He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game, after all, mister. I'm a fold. Not too bad. Hellfire. Hmm. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is getting too rich for me. Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way. Off him. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me.
Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch! What the hell is your problem? He's... Oh my god, kill him! I'm gonna get the law on you! Oh my god, what the hell are you doing? Hey you, get back here! Please, don't hurt me. You hear me now? Yep. I I won't tell us so. On uh, second thoughts, you can give me all your money, too. Okay, here, just take Come it. Come on. Just, just please let me go. That's enough. Reverend, get off the damn tracks! Swanson! to like this place and what's to stay. Get your foot out of here! Twist your leg, you drunken bastard! Help! Get it! Come on! <laughs> Thank you, sir! Uh, uh, uh.
was wondering when he'd show up. Better sleep your way to sound. Mr. Downs! Downs! Where are you? Thomas Downs! Oh, Mr. Downs! Do you want <coughs> Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm 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 <coughs> we ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Really? Threaten me, would you? Uh, please, I have a family, sir. Please. I don't uh. care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. How's that dead looking now? Please, please, no. <sighs>
take it easy. How did you get on? Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke. Come on. All of you. We're free. We are alive. And we are free. So enjoy yourselves. Life is good. Boy. Yeah. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Um, is, um, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A collar for you. Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think.
Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? <sighs> I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? Safety? Safety and meaning? <laughs> Jamie. No. Leave me alone, Arthur! Just using you, telling you what 
you want to hear? What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? <laughs> Christ's sakes, Jamie, just hold up a minute. Jamie, just hold up a minute. You pop up out of nowhere? Sorry! Dude, I, I think that you told me how to ride. Arthur! 
Arthur! I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Now calm down! I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. You didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Stolonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me. But your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, uh, well, uh... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something. But, all right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and... What was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Here we are. She must be waiting inside.
Jamie! Jamie! Oh, come home. Please, you've... Fathers. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. <laughs>